All right, guys, next up, we have the smallest keyboard in the world. I hope so. This is the laser projection keyboard. I found this on Amazon and I've already opened it. You must have seen it in my previous video. And if you haven't, go and watch that video after this video, not now, okay? You know what this reminds me of? This looks like those old MP4 players. In fact, this also looks like an AirPod box. You will get a laser projection keyboard, a USB cable and a user manual. And then there are some safety precautions. So basically it has this infrared uh, light and you're not supposed to look directly into it. Otherwise it will harm your eyes. So be careful. So let's let's see how this works. Are you supposed to keep, oh, you're, oh. So you keep it on your desk and make sure it's like a white desk like this. Uh, if you have like a glass kind of a desk, so you probably won't see it because of the reflection. So basically you connect this keyboard to your device via Bluetooth and then you can actually access this keyboard. If you type it, it's going to type right into your device. So we're going to do that test. Let's connect to this keyboard first. Okay. Okay, let's write. Hi. My name is Unboxy. How are you guys? Oh, it's a little slow actually. How are you guys doing? Oh, not ding, not a ding dong. Okay, so let's try something else. Yeah, if you type very fast, it doesn't recognize your input. But for the most part, if you write really slow, this is the thing for you. Another thing is I couldn't show you because my camera stopped working, but um, you can actually turn this into a cursor. So if you click on this thing, it turns into a cursor. I tested this on my laptop and I was able to use it as a cursor. The sensitivity of the cursor was a little slow, but it was working. I was able to click on things and, you know, kind of scroll here and there but uh, I, I was not able to do that on my iPad I don't know why you can use this on your smartphone tablet PC desktop PC and also on your game console Ooh, that's pretty dope it works with Android iOS Windows and Blackberry who carries a Blackberry these days nobody so you can control the cursor click drag and scroll right click so yeah it actually works um, but it's little slow so if you're someone like me who types like really fast then this may not be for you but if you're someone who you know can't go without a keyboard and you're traveling and you can't carry a keyboard and you type slow then uh, i think you can uh, probably go for it I mean, it's not that expensive either, but I really hope the brand could improve and kind of make it in a way so that it could recognize fast input. Uh, I think the brand is AGS, so AGS Design Corporation, if you're listening, uh, please improve this because I think this is really cool and people are gonna buy it and use it if you could improve the fast input function. I think it's a cool idea. All right, guys, next up we have this vertical mouse. So I have a traditional mouse, which is like this. Uh, I'm switching to a vertical mouse because ergonomically this is better. So this is a vertical mouse. You actually hold it like this. It has all the standard functions. So you have your left click, right click, scrolling, and uh, you can also use this for gaming. So it also has these two buttons for forward and backward. So. If you're someone who does gaming, this is what you can use it for. It also has this button, which is to change the DPI levels, basically your mouse sensitivity. So yeah, here's the USB. This is a wireless vertical mouse. 
And let's see if I could take it out without breaking my nail, which I don't think I can. Okay, so I had to use some external tool to take this out. Anyway, so you take it out and you insert in your laptop or whatever on your desktop and uh, you use it. It's wireless. So it doesn't, you can't use the AA batteries. It has this internal battery. So you have to charge it and that's why you get this cable. It doesn't come with an adapter. So you have to use your own adapter. This is where you insert it and then you charge it. Oh, it's actually surprising it's a very long wire so you can't keep it uh, connected to the power source and use it uh, it's only going to charge the battery um, one thing that I don't like about this mouse is this on off button if you guys can see over here it's so small like I can't turn it on my nail will come off uh, it's so difficult to do it I don't like that I don't know why did they come up with this like how does it make any difference they could have just make it made it a little bit bigger to access you know it's just it's annoying it's very small when I was trying to first you know trying to turn it on I was not able to find it. I was like where is it like where's the on off button because I do have wireless mouse so I know there's always an on off button but I couldn't find it initially so yeah but yeah it's actually I've used this it's pretty good um you can change the mouse sensitivity it, it works really great and it feels so good so you know if you have like a traditional mouse like where you have it your hand like this um you might feel some discomfort in your wrist if you if you use mouse like eight hours a day straight or 10 hours a day if you're a gamer then you might feel the pain so with the with the vertical mouse ergonomically speaking it's better because it keeps your wrist like this not like this and i could feel the difference and it doesn't make that click noise either like compared to other it's pretty good and yeah the feel is really good and yeah when you charge it yeah this actually turns into like red when you're charging it so it looks really good it is compatible with most uh, operating systems the backward and forward button uh, are not recognized on the mac os so you have to keep that in mind you probably want to buy something else it has three level of dpi uh, 800, 1200 and 1600 which is pretty standard so yeah guys that was it for today's video I think all these three products that I found on Amazon are pretty cool finds because I think all these three products that I reviewed today are pretty unique in its own way because uh, this mouse is not like your regular mouse this is vertical and then we also looked at the laser projection keyboard which was also a very creative and unique idea it's not perfect but it does work if they could improve it i think everybody is gonna carry one like it's so handy it's really good for travel i don't know if there are other brands out there which are better than this I'm gonna look for it. Uh, I hope to find another brand which is much better. And if I'm able to find one, then I'll definitely going to make another video on that and show it to you guys if it's worth buying. So yeah, all right guys, bye for now.